morning, everybody, and happy Father's Day. For the first time ever, the Washington Brewers Festival is going virtual. Of course, we're disappointed that we can't be at Mary Moore Park today. It would have been the 15th annual Washington Brewers Festival at Mary Moore Park today. And truth be told, the Father's Day Festival has been going on for more than 20 years. It actually began out at the Herb Farm out in Woodenville. There was just a small group of breweries back then and some of their family members and friends joining together on the Herb Farm out in Woodenville some 20 years ago. But officially, okay. this is our 15th annual Washington Brewers Festival. And again, yeah. for the first time, we're going virtual due to the pandemic. <laughs> of course, over the course of the day today, you're going to hear messages from our local breweries uh, wishing people Happy Father's Day and thanking you, uh, our viewers, for your support of Washington beer over these last 90 days. And as we head into summertime, hoping for phase two, even phase three across the board as we move uh, safely into summertime. You're going to hear some music because of the Brewers Festival, of course, is nothing without the music acts that take place there. We'll get a food truck recipe because, you know, food and beer, they go great together. And you'll get to see the keg toss today where you'll get to vote on our winners of the keg toss. We're going to have five rounds of keg toss and uh, a final round to decide our winner of the big trophy at the Washington Brewers Festival keg toss. Let's begin our show with a uh, messages from a few of our local brewers again on this special virtual Father's Day. Hi, it's Alan Rose from Anacortes Brewery. And as the chairman of the Washington Beer Commission, I'd like to thank you for supporting Washington Beer. We hope soon to be able to share beer with you. Cheers. Cheers, Happy Scott. Father's Day to all you dads of four-legged and two-legged friends. Cheers. All right, I almost hey, had a beer from them for this. Happy Father's Day. What are you doing? Loading up for Beer Fest. No, nah, Beer Fest is canceled. Dude, they would never cancel Washington Beer Festival. My favorite event of the year. No, it's canceled. No! Hey, all you beer lovers. This is Ben and Kelly from the Steam Plant. We are so bummed we missed you this year at the Washington Craft Brewers Festival, and we can't wait to serve you next year. In the meantime, swing on down to the Steam Plant and grab a beer. We're reopening soon. Cheers. Cheers. Things are looking up. Happy Father's Day from White Love Brewing. Cheers to Washington Cheers. And nice to get some messages from around the state. Steam plant is out there in Spokane. You heard our chairman, Alan Rhodes, up in Anacortes. White Bluffs over there in Tri-Cities. Uh, but again, 421 breweries statewide, and it's nice to hear from some of the folks from around the state. Well, Dad deserves a beer today. It is the Washington Brewers Festival, so we're going to test out our chat room and see if we can find out what are you drinking on this Father's Day Sunday morning. I know it's just after 11 a.m., uh, but probably time to start with a Washington State craft beer. I've got my Brewers Festival glass. I'll be imbibing... Field 41 Where's your, from your over there? Yakima, actually Moxie, Washington. Bale Breaker Brewing, one of my favorites out there, right in the middle of a hops field. Cheers to everybody here on this Father's Day, and let's uh, put some of those uh, brewery names and what you're enjoying here today at our virtual Brewers Festival. Cheers, everybody. Today, one of the other things we'll be doing is supporting the Washington Brewers Guild. The Washington Brewers Guild has been around for a couple of decades now and does advocacy work, education. It's a business association here to protect and serve Washington State craft breweries. You're going to get an opportunity today to buy them a beer, if you will. Donate $5 or $10 to support the Washington Brewers Guild, which in turn supports all 421 of our Washington State breweries. Here with a message about the Washington Brewers Guild, is their president, Pam Berlot from Icicle Brewing in Leavenworth. Nice. I like Icicle. Have you been there, Scott? Hi, everyone. I Hi, haven't everybody. been there, but I'm I've had some of their beer. It's pretty good. I'm the owner of Icicle Brewing Company, and I'm also the president of the Washington Brewers Guild. And I just wanted to reach out and say, 
Thank you so much for your support of the Washington Beer Commission first ever virtual Washington Brewers Festival. And a huge thank you for your donations and support of the Washington Brewers Guild. It allows us to continue to educate and advocate on behalf of our Washington breweries, over 400 of them, and we just appreciate your support. So have a great weekend. Thanks again. Um, happy Father's Day and cheers to Washington beer. <laughs> to you, Pam, and thanks to the folks that are clicking to donate today to the Washington Brewers Guild. Uh, again, they do such great work, uh, educational, and it's really a brotherhood of Washington breweries through the guild. There's a guild forum where they'll share um, recipes and hops and who's doing their line cleaning, uh, all the mechanical workings and education that goes with a business association, all comes through the Washington well, we'll Brewers Guild. I mean, so thank you so much here now. for their support. Let's get back to some more brewery messages here as I take my sip of my Bail Breaker Field 41. All right, cheers. Hi, I'm Thomas Bass with Ranch Valley Brewing, and we just want to say thank you to all those who've supported us during these hard times and all the fathers out there. Let's raise a glass. Cheers. Music and <sighs> Family here at the Slippery Pig in Paulsbo. Nice. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Cheers. We have been there. After tolerating, raise a glass for all the dads out there. Happy, happy Father's, Father's Day, Day from Black Lee Brewing. Hi everyone, I want to wish you a happy Father's Day from Optimism Brewing Company. We're sad we're not going to be able to join you at the Brewers Fest, but me and Moxie here are going to make sure to drink a lot of beer to help raise some money. From all of us. At Outer Planet. Happy, Happy Father's Day. Day. Wow. We want to thank you. For they have a lot of staff, support. Outer Planet. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're they tiny. Do. Cheers. Cheers. Stay, stay, safe. Stay, stay safe. Stay safe. Scott, have you had any of Thanks beer? to those breweries again for participating. And Happy right Father's now. Day to all of them. Let's uh, talk now about one of the more exciting things that happens at Brewers Festival besides the tasting of amazing beer from 110 breweries from around our state. Uh, the keg toss is always a popular part of what we do up on the big stage every Saturday and Sunday of Brewers Festival weekend. Give me just a second here and let me show you the trophy. They'll be competing for this trophy that's been around for 20 years. Uh, it started way back at the Herb Farm and then at St. Edward State Park in Kenmore. And this is the big trophy that our competitors will be competing for today. He doesn't you have his sign on, on in it, the background. And it'll be judged on the basis of, well, yeah. sense of humor, creativity, maybe some of their attire. Uh, but I think you're going to have some fun with our keg toss today at the Brewers Festival. Let's go to round one, our first five competitors in the Washington Brewers Festival keg toss. Okay, so they're mixing in the keg toss with the regular um, brewery videos, yeah. I guess. This will be the earliest in the day that the keg toss ever goes. It's Definitely. usually at like a two or three o'clock. Stemma Brewing, I haven't heard of them before. I wonder where they're at. That so was an interesting toss. Penny Nickel, we have our first beer is the Chuck and Nut Bohemian Pilsner so we're using from a Bellingham. These Red Barrel Mini Keg because we do British beers and we're doing our keg toss this year for the Washington Brewers Festival. And we've got three different uh, destinations. So I got three throws. Let's we'll see if we can get our first one in. Oh, so close. Let's look for our second one. Oh, 
And we'll go for the last one. Oh, we made it into the big little pool at the biggest points. Better drink that down. Ooh. Cheers. I am bolted up, man. Oh, we get to vote on who we think so won that one. Yeah. The keg yard. Let's do this. Well, howdy there, folks. I'm winked out west. My spare time, I like tossing cakes. Woo! You see about there, kids, that takes decades of training to get to that level. So far, I think Single Hills, of... Single Hills got it so far for me. Coincidentally, we have a beer from them today. Yeah. I think I like Stemma, but only because I thought the relay was creative. All right. I guess we're supposed to vote now. Competitors. For those that don't know Stemma Brewing, they're up in Bellingham, but uh, I enjoyed the Foggy Noggin and... Uh, our friends at Culshin, Single Hill, and uh, uh, also Half Lion there at the end with the missed putt and the angry toss of the keg uh, that was clearly at fault for the missed putt. So vote on your favorite. You've got some time to do it. We're going to move to music now, another big part of the Washington Brewers Festival. On Friday night, our headliner this year was uh, doing an encore performance. It's our friends from Heart by Heart, Summer Masick big craft beer fan and her husband, Steve Fawson, an original member of the group Heart, uh, were set to perform for us on Friday night. And they sent oh, us some great video. Bummer. And let's enjoy a song while you complete your voting on round one of the keg toss. This is Crazy on Brew, uh, Crazy on You by Heart by Heart. Okay. All right, we had to mute the audio, guys, because um, for copyright reasons, we can't have the music playing. Uh, so I apologize if you were looking forward to that, but um, we just don't want to run the risk of some kind of copyright strike. So uh, for now, we can have some chat. So uh, thanks, everybody, for joining. First of all, cheers. Uh, yeah, good to see you guys. Malfunct and I, uh, we kind of collaborated on trying to find a, a good mix of beers that kind of do a good job representing the state and the variety of beers being produced here. And we tried to treat it as if we were at the fest and we said, hey, that beer sounds interesting. Why, why, why don't we try that? You know, because that's for me, that's what the fest is kind of about is um, trying beer from breweries that were not really a regular uh brewery that we buy beer from all the time it's like oh like some random brewery in central washington cool i'm gonna try their stuff yeah. so and, and um, by collaborate what he means is i did what i do at every fest and said what what beers are we drinking and followed him to the line yeah scott how, how many years have we gone together it's been at least five right uh more than that i well maybe you weren't there but i think i started going in 2010 2010 wow so it's been almost a decade you've been going um yeah Although I, I didn't go last, uh, I just decided to spend it with my son and my mom for Father's Day last year and not go down to the festival. Well, uh, yeah, cheers to you, Scott, being a father. Uh, happy Father's Day. Yeah, and happy Father's Day to any other fathers out there, too. Definitely. Not, sh not sure if we have any viewers who are fathers, but... Oh, in that beer man, what's up, my friend? We can't do anything about the presenter being washed out. <laughs> that's that's not our problem. Yeah. Uh, Although, if you remember the festival, he's kind of washed out there too. Definitely. Yeah. So, uh, Penny Nickel, you asked earlier, what is our beer lineup? Well, um, to start things off, we have the Chucking Up Bohemian Pilsner, and we just decided that we wanted to rep Bellingham somehow. Um, and we, we didn't have a lot of light beer in the kind of lineup we picked out. And we, we just thought when, when you think of like, uh, lagers, we just instantly thought chuck it up. We're like, well, yeah. you know, we could have had like structures or, um, some other Bellingham breweries, but we just felt like, uh, chuck up fit, fit into just the style we were looking for. So we just grabbed yeah. this Bohemian Pilsner and it's pretty delicious. It also gives us a better chance of lasting this entire hour and a half. 
Right, yeah, we're trying to not go crazy. We do have one barrel-aged beer towards the end, but that's the last thing we'll drink, so... Um, and, and Scott, I don't think you got any help today, so... <laughs> no, we'll, no. We'll, we'll pace ourselves here. Yeah, this band's rocking. I, I don't know what they sound like, but... Uh, this might... would have been a good Friday night. It might have competed well with the best Friday night at Beer Festival we've had so far. With, that's true. Uh, yeah, we, we always... I, I don't know about Scott, but I Friday was always my favorite time to go because the bands are a little crazier, and it's just kind of like more of a... Um, there's no there's no kids or anything and it's just kind of like it's it's the real hardcore beer nerds that are there at that time you know so that's 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 my time i don't know yeah. scott what do you think friday night is definitely a good night at the festival um and like i said i don't think anything will ever build, beat that night with hell's bells playing yeah they were amazing they, they got a little bit crazy on stage <laughs> um there was a beer tent like 30 feet away from the stage so we could just sneak around the stage and get new beer so. i forgot about that yeah that's right that was awesome i drank a lot of gin barrel aged um whatever it was oh, i don't know yeah i don't remember what that was was that a uh, gin barrel was it a sour it taste no it was it was a pale maybe or something okay. like that or a blonde i don't know it was a <laughs> it was mostly gin flavored and not very beer flavored which was interesting yeah that was that was that was hilarious um i wish they would bring hell's bells back i don't know maybe... i think they might not want them they might have gotten complaints about how <laughs> wild it got maybe oh that was that was a good show though that was hilarious um yeah so uh scott i don't know how much is left of yours but we're kind of getting down well, well, you know, i we'll... got w about one swallow left okay cool so we'll, we we can open the next beer soon uh this band is done i don't know if they're doing i don't know if they're doing a set or just like maybe a song or two um i don't know how this is gonna work yeah i don't know they didn't give us an agenda oh. well it's going back to the dude let me uh here he is steve fawson thank you for doing a little a jam for us there. I think that was at the Triple Door All right. I uh, think in downtown I'm use this Seattle. Time to go recorded get the uh, not beer. that long okay, ago. Okay, cool. Uh, um, great we're show. Doing the, you'll uh, need to do it. Heart by Heart. We'll get to announce it. One the more time Scott. later yeah. in this right. show. Uh, looking at our voting for Keg Toss Round 1. I hope you can see those results a as I can. Congratulations to Half Lion Brewing, the missed putt on the 18th green and the tossing of that keg your winner from round one. So they'll move on uh, to the finals. They only edged out Foggy Noggin Brewing by two votes. Foggy Noggin had 27, Jim Jameson up there in Bothell. And in fact, they just got one more vote and got to 28, but still lose to Half Lion by one vote. Stemmer Brewing up in Bellingham had 25 votes, single hill. Great job by, by Ty, my buddy out there, uh, had 20 votes in Colshan Brewing with uh, Wacky West, I think it was, uh, with 13 uh, votes their way. But congratulations. Half Lion will move on to the next round. Let's get back to some more messages from our brewers on this Father's Day virtual festival. Happy Father's Day from Single Hill Brewing. We love our Washington beer community more than yeast loves eating grain sugar hey guys christopher here i'm atn river city brewing spokane we just wanted to wish uh all the fathers out there a happy, happy father's, father's day. day and uh cheers to washington well, the, beers. the line at the restroom was Woo! unbearable and the beer tent <laughs> is all the way on the other end of my house so. you had to walk really far i know yeah cheers now this next beer smells hey like peanut butter, Ashley so the it is. It's on the Happy can Day. is Sorry, accurate. It with you peanut butter festival, blonde. But hopefully we'll this will be interesting. Just... I'm not a fan of peanut butter beers. Day they are the usually crew. done poorly. Cheers. Well, there's Tacoma. I haven't heard from Narrows yet, but maybe they'll Cheers be Cheers in indeed. Thanks to our breweries again for those messages. Uh, Deep Draft Brewing, by the way, one of our newer breweries is out there in Bremerton, Washington. And speaking of Bremerton, it is time. Uh, I've got another only uh, beer tasting token here at the virtual the Brewers Festival. 
and uh, I believe I will move you got to your token, uh, another Scott? Robertson area brewery, pay, Silver City Brewing. <laughs> pay your tokens. And this is their Ride the Spiral. I have some tokens somewhere. I'm sure that the IPA will find them in the With pineapple and orange, Ride the Spiral from Silver City. It's going to be my beer number two. Uh, as we all I've got uh, special access to Washington the beer tent. I can just go in and pour virtually. my own. Hey, we're keeping up oh, with the presenter good. here. This is good. All we're right. Not, we're on a good pace. Let's uh, move on to keg toss round number two, shall we? Again, oh, five more two. competitors, and you get a chance to vote again uh, with one winner moving on to the finals. This is keg toss be kind of round cool number two. If there was an audience participation in the um, beer toss at the actual event, they could do it through the Wobble app. Where you just go into a poll, and every every round they have a, a audience vote. And I don't know how that would play in, but I think that'd be fun. Somebody should pitch that to the the wobble yeah. organizers. Maybe just have an audience uh, awarded trophy that's separate from the other trophy. Um, I think brewers would rather get that uh, audience trophy than the one for throwing the kegs, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening here. I like the, the base. <laughs> All right, that Ghost keg is not going girl, anywhere. Getting good beer into the hands of those in need. The fastest no contact delivery. Oh, yeah. they deliver it right through the window. I get it. Two, three, four, back of the crib. Oh, child. Hey, are you the guy? <laughs> I got a guy. You got a guy? Got the stuff. All right, these are hard to find. This is expensive. It's my last one. Oh, yeah. Wow, Sweet. the beast. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those in a long time. <laughs> and for the 2020 Brewers Festival, we have Greg from I Scrappy needs to Pump. Mow. Round one. Is that the announcer? The same guy? It sounded kind of like him. Sign for the secret sauce. Maybe they got a recording from a past uh, festival. Oh, now he's powered up. See, look at that. He missed that pull by a mile. Zero points given. Oh! Five million style points to Scrappy Puck Brewing. Scrappy Puck wins. I, I give that one props for all of the callbacks to the actual keg toss. Cheers to Washington beer. Happy Father's Day, everyone. Yeah, Scrappy Punk so far has it. <laughs> I gotta give it to your Scrappy vote Punk. for Flying Bike Cooperative, Ghost Fish Brewing, Scrappy Punk. Uh, they're up in Snohomish, Icicle Brewing um, in Leavenworth, of course, and Good Society Brewing, which is a, a new brewery in West Seattle. I think I like their music the best, but time for you to vote on your favorite uh, keg toss in round two. Good Society and again, has we'll had have the best one arts advance and crafts, uh, to the, the finals as we did in round one. We're going to move now to another important part of the Washington Brewers Festival, and that is the food. Uh, Our food truck court typically has about 16 uh, food trucks yeah, available out there. The you can get yourself, everything from a gyro <laughs> to pizza a to food a po' boy sandwich to chicken nuggets. Just, just about anything you want that goes with a Washington State oh, craft the beer. Said but we brought one of our friends on to good. do a little Father's Day recipe I forget with what you the today one is called in two that segments. All of this the is the first segment from my like friend. Fried at, and... His name is Matt at Woodshop Barbecue, and he is making some brisket 
queso. Okay, so Woodshop, we know good. somebody at Woodshop. And it goes with don't Washington we? State craft uh, beer. Uh, Here's my friend, Matt, from Woodshop Barbecue. Do. I don't think that person is there anymore. Hi, I'm Matt from I'm Woodshop, Matt Barbecue. Woodshop Barbecue. Sadly, we can't the the, the, the pandemic sort of uh, impacted Woodshop quite a row, bit, and I think they instead, laid off some of their work. Show you how gotcha. My family and I, are we going to celebrate Father's Day? With are these going to be barbecue so, tots? Basic understanding of a good queso. I think it's cheese, chili. Oh, queso. Milk. I'm trying to remember the last thing. What was it? Oh yeah. Meat. First off, we talk about cheese. I believe very strongly, and there's about a million plus Texans that believe this as well, that processed cheese is required to make queso. Yeah, right. he has a good point. It wrong. just makes it better. But you can also better. add in other cheeses, like, say, Monterey Jack, say, smoked Gouda, or some sort of aged cheddar, whatever you want, a sharp cheddar, whatever works for you that's like a more of a flavor that you enjoy. The key, though, it's is gonna processed be a big cheese. Batch of queso. This is that velvety, creamy texture that is just what has to happen for a good queso. I'm glad I ate right before Don't this, otherwise I might be getting hungry. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop I didn't in eat yet. <laughs> you might be in trouble a little later. And you can use any kind of fancy cheese, whatever you want. As far <laughs> you should as grab flavor. some snacks. Processed cheese. Uh, has I, to I be might processed call better. a food delivery midway. Okay. We're gonna have okay. One, Bring the food truck two, to your house. That's the ticket. Yeah, yeah. They'll deliver it right to three, my door. I am. I am impressed okay. by these so smokers back one there. One that's. Uh, they're doing it right. You know. That's four. That's all the cheese I think I can eat. Then we're gonna add in. They're not flashy smokers, but Blast they look effective. Milk. And this is just gonna kind of blend everything together. I do like Woodshop, actually. They're, if I go to the, any fest, standard. I usually end up eating from them uh, at least once. Pureed, yeah, they jalapeno, have good barbecue. Um, this is what we use I think the, the truck I eat from the most at festivals now is where you at, Matt? That's the po' boy one, right? Just standard That's diced the po boys. Yeah. green chilies. Um, the cans of Dan, uh, diced green chilies. But there's if, so if much fire roasted, I, eat, I recommend like, that if you can add the spice. Six stuff, meals a day when I'm in beer fest. Through, right. Like, um, so these guys, I guess he's got a KC so hat on them. They're Kansas scratch, City style. Take, if you have a smoker, if you have a grill, or if you have a gas burner on your stove top. There's a lot of barbecue snobs out there that. Yeah. Poblanos, any kind of like lighter green chilies. Just We're in Seattle. Really we quick, don't have a real barbecue on, style. Yeah. In your oven, just peel it skin off You're lucky if you can find, find something that resembles barbecue kind of here. And then just pat it in like that. Okay, and then we're just going to take this. Wait, I think it should have something else. What else could this have? Lucille. A Washington beer. No, though you shouldn't Georgetown. drink out of the can before you make up the batch of. Uh... He's double fisting. Wow, oh, another delicious Washington beer. All right, do we have a stove top out here? Hmm. Guess we'll have to settle for a smoker. All right, I have no idea how long this will take, but you need to stir often and just make sure it doesn't burn. But as soon as it is all melted down, it's nice and creamy across that, not burn. Good to go. That All right. sounds wise. So cheers to everybody for uh, watching. And then uh, I'm going to link in the description uh, Malfunk's Twist channel. Go follow Malfunk and go watch his streams every Monday. And uh, for more beer events, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we make some plans. We'll see what happens. But uh, this is really fun, and I want to do more stuff like this. So. All right. Sounds good. Cheers. Have a great afternoon, everyone. And again, happy Father's Thank Day. Thank you, Malfunct. Cheers, brother.